Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and we're at the retreat location and a while back, maybe a couple years ago, I did a video with the Bug Out Bag Radio showing this collapsible surplus military whip antenna. I think I got it off of eBay a while back. It's several sections with a spring-loaded string in the bottom that keep all the parts together and you snap it together and you get a nice HF whip antenna. And back then a lot of you guys said, where did you get this antenna? I got it off of eBay, if I remember correctly. But they're hard to find, especially in the surplus markets. Uh, I don't think the military uses them as much anymore. So they're difficult to come across. But if you're looking for a collapsible whip antenna, well, you're in luck. Because Chameleon Antennas was kind enough to send me one of their whip antennas, the CHA-MIL antenna. And with that antenna, they were also kind enough to send their hybrid micro base adapter and their portable HF wire antenna. And that's a 60-foot wire antenna that partners up with the micro base as well as the whip antenna. We're going to go ahead and set these up and see what we can do with the HF radio here. I brought the bug out bag radio. Uh, I got the loop antenna here, but I don't think we're going to use that today. Uh, we'll do some more videos on that in the future. But I do have the Yesu, the Pactor modem. I got the ATV. Now what's nice about these antennas that Chameleon sent us is the hybrid micro base the threads on the bottom actually match the standard amateur radio connection here. So what we're going to do is mount this bracket up here on this post so we can do the whip antenna there. And then I was also able to mount one of these brackets on the back of the four-wheeler and we'll demonstrate the antenna in use for both of those. Now I don't have a counterpoise wire but Carl at Chameleon Antenna was kind enough to remind me that when you're using the whip antenna and you need a counterpoise, you can use the portable antenna as a counterpoise. So that's what we're going to demonstrate today. I didn't even think of that, but I'm, I'm glad he reminded me that that piece of wire is just like any other piece of wire when it comes to setting up a counterpoise. So I'm going to go ahead and mount that base on this post and get this whip antenna up and see what we can pick up. I'll be right back, guys. There we have the base mounted and the hybrid micro connected to that, and I'm using the wire antenna as a counterpoise just runs down the pole here and I ran it out in the grass over there so that gives us a counterpoise for the system now there's a lot of configurations with this there's too many for me to show in one video so with the magic of editing I'm gonna go ahead and do some screen inserts from the manual and the manual is free to download and even if you don't get one of these antennas, I highly recommend you download this manual because it has great information in there on how to set up wire antennas, make them directional, inverted V's, sloping antennas. It's a great educational resource for anybody looking to get into amateur radio for emergency communications. And of course, I'll put a link down below directly to the manual and this antenna because the manual is great. All right, guys, we got the bug-out bag radio connected to the antenna. Because this is a whip antenna, you do need an antenna tuner. So we're using our MFJ low-power or QRP antenna tuner here. It's connected to the hybrid micro base up there. And then the whip antenna sits on top of it. And I'm going to put all the power and length and all the other specifications in the video when I get home to edit this. I don't have the sheet of paper with me here, so I'll just go ahead and insert it in the video so you can get the basics on the specs and, of course, the link. So we'll go ahead and fire up the HF radio and see if we can get this tuned up and see if we can send and receive some HF email. We'll give it a shot. All right, guys. Well, I hope you can see this with this flip camera that I got. But we got the radio in the AM mode, and it tunes up just fine. A full 5 watts out, and no problems tuning this antenna. So let's spin up a Pactor frequency and see if we can send and receive some HF email. Well, there we have it, guys. Even with a boatload of interference on the channel, I'm actually connected to a station in Canada running 5 watts with the bug out bag radio with the HF email modem using chameleon antennas, hybrid micro and whip antenna attached to the hammock post there. So we're going to let this uh, connection finish 
and we're going to go ahead and move to another channel, see if we can get a clearer channel. And then we're going to move the antenna over to the back of the ATV to show you how you could use this antenna in a more tactical environment. So I know that's not the best connection you've ever heard on the channel when demonstrating the HF email modem, but we have our connection there and the radio is communicating with that station in Canada. So we'll go ahead and see if we can find a clearer channel to give you a demonstration on the capabilities of this collapsible whip antenna. I'll be right back guys. All right, we're able to connect to another station. This station is W5DMH. I'm not sure of his location, but I'll look that up before I post the uh, video here. Again, there's a lot of interference today on the 40 meter band, but we're still making connections with the SCS Pactor modem using the whip antenna. And we'll see if we can pick up another station. All right, guys, a quick comment. I figured out what all the interference was. I have one of my comms prepper helpers under the deck with the solar power system. And she's going to turn my inverter on. My off-grid solar power system, the inverter was actually washing out the HF bands. That's why those first two connections I showed in this video had so much interference in the background. It was the inverter. So, uh, comms prepper helper, turn the inverter on. Hear that noise floor come up? That's from the inverter in the crawl space. Go ahead and turn it off. And the band gets quiet. So we'll go ahead and try those connections one more time without the inverter on and see how this antenna performs. And we're able to connect to that other station, W5DMH. And that's much clearer this time with the packet modem using the whip antenna. So I think we've demonstrated the potential of having a quick tactical and portable antenna can have for emergency communications. So I'm going to let this connection complete. We're going to go ahead and take the whip antenna and the hybrid micro down from the post there and put it on the back of the ATV and see if we can do the same thing. And there we have another connection guys. This is to station W3JY and I'll look that up when I edit the video. Connected to the chameleon antenna, the whip antenna with the hybrid micro mounted here on the rear of the ATV using the wire antenna as the counterpoise on the bottom of the mount there and as you can see this is a real solid antenna and I'll insert some uh, still shots but here's the whip antenna right here on the back of the four-wheeler now I wouldn't drive with this I wouldn't go mobile with it because I'd be afraid to break it but if you had to go someplace and park you could easily set this antenna up in about 10 minutes and be on the air just like we are here up at the retreat location with the bug up bag radio set it and receive an HF email so I'm going to actually try to get into the voice bands and see what kind of stations we can pick up. Now, I don't operate voice. Voice isn't my thing. It's data. But we'll see what we can hear out there and give you an idea how this antenna performs. And then we'll go ahead and break it down and show you what it looks like in its portable configuration. And again, I'll insert some stills of the actual hardware at the end of this video. I play video poker. I play the low big games. And I keep thinking... So we're picking up some good tough, stations uh, here, the good and clear. We'll roll around a little bit more. Great first round. Uh, we're copying everyone. Uh, All right. No problem. So mm -hmm. the antenna seems to perform quite well. Them. I'm very impressed and, uh, with it. We'll go ahead yeah, and move over uh, to the antenna and show you that again. Right now we've still got it mounted on the back of the ATV there with the wire antenna being used at the counterpoise. So I'll go ahead and wrap this video up and then take some stills to insert at the end of this video. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a field demonstration of Chameleon Antennas CHA-MIL Whip Antenna with their hybrid micro antenna base adapter that connects to a standard amateur radio mount. Thanks for watching guys.